Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Teresa and I'm really glad you guys decided to join me today. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me and my Erin Condren Life Planner for the week of April 27th through May 3rd and I'm going to be using a kit this week from Pink Polka Dot Lily and this kit is called Home and it is absolutely gorgeous and let me just run through the kit with you I will have an I card up above um, somewhere throughout the plan with me with the haul that I did on this kit so again this kit is called home and I did choose to use the matte copper foil and it is absolutely gorgeous I just love 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 the foiling in this so here it says loved together, family, hope, blessed, grateful, warmth, and home. And I'm probably going to be using um, hmm, either together or family. Together, it's got a little picture and it says, the love of a family is life's greatest blessing. So I may use that one. I like that. So I think I'm going to use that one. I was going to use family, but I think I'm going to use that one. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> so here we have our washi chunks, bottom washi, and it says home is love. Home is where love resides and memories are created. And look at that copper foil, absolutely gorgeous. You've got some quarter boxes and labels, a couple um, bow clips here, a little piece of cake. We have our full box checklists and I love how she put leafs as the check boxes super cute we have our quarter boxes half boxes we've got two scalloped half boxes and two scalloped quarter boxes we have our sidebar sheet as well as standalone checklists habit trackers and two Monday through Sundays and another checklist two page flags two more um, bow clips here this is we've got our functionals as well as some page flags you've got some i don't know if these are hexagons and some small squares you've got a flat lay you've got um, like this little squiggly heart you've got some circles here some more circles here and two bill dues <coughs> here we have our to do today and blank headers here we had our date covers and then she always gives you this blank one which I always like to put over here to start my build down of my sidebar you've got your little things which are meals and TVs then here we have our foil confetti headers and then your foiled functionals, your weekend banner, payday, to do, day off, pretty things. You've got a stethoscope, a pot and pan, a grocery bag, nail polish, as well as a coffee cup. So that is the kit. Oh, and it also comes with this set. Well, it's not a set. This um, flag here. So you can put your weekend banner on and then you always get a sheet of date dots that match your foiling option so there is that washi I have these four from simply gilded they match this kit so so well and they are more of a rose gold foil bow or copper which looks beautiful with this kit so I may pull in these and then my clips are all from run with craft scissors so we have this lace and burlap bow on a gold clip with just a little brown cardstock backing this gorgeous um, burlap flower, burlap and lace flower, again on a gold clip, and it's just got some white cardstock backing. And then I wanted to pull in this rose gold um, glitter bubble bow on a rose gold clip with just brown cardstock backing as well. So let's get started. <coughs> Excuse me, I have put down my date covers as well as my first set of headers. <laughs> Um, I don't need that yet. I need those. I need that. And I think the rest can wait. I need this. Okay, so I decided to film on Monday, the 27th, because 
we went to spend the day yesterday, Sunday, the 26th, with my now four-year-old grandson, Nolan. And I thought, I knew a lot of you would love to hear how we how his birthday went. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to film Saturday. I'm going to wait until Monday. So that way I have the whole day with Nolan and Paxton and Michaela and Tony. And then I can tell you guys how our day went. And let me just say, it was amazing. Let me get started because I'm just going to keep yapping. Okay, so we first is first. I FaceTimed my birthday boy. Um, it was about like 9.30 and Michaela didn't answer. She texted me and said no one's still sleeping. And then she called me or she had him FaceTime me when he woke up. And I got to sing him happy birthday. And then we talked for a little bit. And um, then I said, well, Juju's going to get ready to go because we're coming down to see you. I'm going to start with loved. I think I'm just going to go how it is here. Um, okay, what did I leave off with? Purple, so I need this one. Um, so I got dressed and you know washed my face, my hair, did all that stuff. Um, and then... We headed down. We left here about 12.30, 1 o'clock-ish in there. Now, these aren't cut the greatest, and I'm just wondering if, like, her cutter was kind of... The blade was on, like, its last leg. There we go. <clears throat> it's not going to bother me any. So, anyway, we... um. We uh, headed down. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour when John drives. <laughs> he, he won't go over the speed limit. Me, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> well, it's all back roads. You don't ever see cops. So I shouldn't say that because yesterday we did. And I'm like, oh, I've never seen one sitting there. It's right where you turn off of inner or highway 12 to go into Indiana. He was catching people with a little dirt bag. <laughs> um, anyway, so we got there and the boys were so excited to see us. Like I like literally ran from the car into the house and gave great big choo-choo hugs to my babies. I was so excited. Paxton could have cared less about grandma. He wanted gimpa. Gimpa. That's all he said the whole time. Gimpa. Gimpa. And then <coughs> um so we Michaela and I made him his cake. Normally we she buys a cake for him. But she decided to make it this year, and she did two round cakes. It was so fun. She did two round cakes, and they were the, um, the confetti cakes, I think. But it also had um, pudding in the cake mix, and it was the moistest cake. It was so good. So... If you guys see those, and I don't know who made it, but Betty Crocker or Pillsbury or one of those, um, if it has pudding in it, oh my gosh, get it. You cannot go wrong, like for real. So she did two round cakes, and she's like, Mom, you're going to have to help me do this when it was time to frost it and stuff. And I'm, she's like, I've never done the, the round cakes. And I'm like, well, neither have I. <laughs> so... <laughs> This is going to be exciting. So we um we managed. We did well. <laughs> so she was wrapping presents and I put the cakes together and frosted them. And then Paxton was napping. So um 
Tony and John made steaks on the grill and shrimp, steak and shrimp on the grill with um, corn on the cob. <coughs> Excuse me. Corn on the cob, peppers, like red and yellow peppers, and then potatoes. And then while they did that, like I said, I did the cake. I put the cake together. And then what she did, she had found this cake on Pinterest, and it had a number four. But it with the number four was just the frosting, and then it was confetti, like all over the top of it, except for the four. So <laughs> we did that. <laughs> and, like, obviously you'd have to have, like, some kind of a stencil or whatever. So she just used, she printed out a four and cut that out, and then we laid it down on the cake with paper, mind you, on paper. And Tony and John were like, okay, how are you guys going to do this with the paper? How are you going to get it off? We're like, um, we don't know. <laughs> we'll get it off. And we did. We managed to do it. It looked so cute. But we, like, we, like, sprinkled it up, like, a lot. <laughs> There was a lot of sprinkles on that cake, let me just tell you. But it was, he loved it, and that was all that mattered, was he loved it. So then once we got the cake done, he, he wanted um, McDonald's for his dinner. So Michaela and I ran up to Mickey D's and got the boys Happy Meals, and then we came home, we had dinner, and then we made, or we... Um, opened presents and everybody mailed him his presents so he had a ton of gifts from everybody from the whole you know like all the family his other grandma and grandpa and it was he just kept saying all day choo choo he said because he calls me choo choo if you're new to my channel I call him choo choo he calls me choo choo and his other grandma choo choo but now she's grandma choo choo but <clears throat> um, he um, he said, "Choo choo! I really ha I really happy that you're here." <laughs> and he kept telling me that all day, and I was just in heaven. We had the best day. It was sunny and nice and warm, so we could be outside with the boys, and it was just a perfect day. It was just perfect, and. I couldn't have asked for a better day and then we actually stayed seven hours we didn't leave until eight o'clock a little after eight a little before eight because Paxton goes to bed at eight and um, he wasn't in bed yet so we And then we drove home. I drove home. Um, and then, and it was so sad. Like Paxton started like crying. Like he was hysterically crying when we left because he wanted his Gampa. That's all he was about yesterday was Gampa. Gampa. Hey, Gampa. Hi, Gampa. 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 What Gampa? <laughs> That's all we heard all day from Paxton. Gampa, Gampa, where Gampa? Hi, Gampa, hi, Gampa. <laughs> Gampa, 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 Gampa. <laughs> Tony was making fun of me because, like, he would be like, like, he would come to me, like, and let me hold him and stuff, and then he'd be like, where Gampa? So then I'd have to take him, show him where Gampa was. And I'd be like, Pecky say Gamma, and he'd go Gampa. <laughs> I'm like, Tony's like, I'll give you an A for A for effort with trying, but he's not saying Grandma. <laughs> it was all Gampa. And even Michaela was like, this. She's like, that is just disgusting. <laughs> And she even said to Tony, she's like, because normally Paxton's a daddy's boy. 
<laughs> like it's funny because like Nolan is such a mama mama's boy and a choo choo's boy. He's he wants mama and choo choo. Where Paxton is all about Tony. Tony, 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 Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. And apparently he's the same with now Gamba. He is now a Gamba's boy. <laughs> and Boo was like or Michaela, sorry, I call her Boo. Um, she was like, um, she's like, so Tony, how does it feel to be second fiddle to Gamba? <laughs> he's like, well, now he just gets a little taste of the, of what I have to deal with every day. <laughs> but you could tell he was like, he was, uh, feeling a little slighted there at the end because every time Paxton would go up to him, he'd go, Gampa? And Tony would be like, no, I'm daddy. <laughs> it was a riot. But anyway, when we were leaving, oh my gosh. Nolan was like, bye, choo-choo. I miss you. I love you. And I just lost it. Lost it. And Paxton was hysterical crying. And oh, it was it was heart wrenching. Heart wrenching, heart wrenching. I cried halfway home. Yes, I did. <laughs> While driving. Um it was so sad to leave. But we were able to, because, you know, she is due um, for Layton. If you're new, she is having her th our third, or her third son, her and Tony's third little boy in May. May 19th is her due date. So um, the plan is I'm still going to go down the week of her due date. And... Um, Because since I can't go into the delivery room now <coughs> with this COVID crap, um, I'm going to stay with the boys, which I'm used to. Um, if you guys, like I said, are new, I watch the boys normally when they work. Um, but since they're both, well, Michaela's at on a work from home from her job and, um, she has been since before it really became a factor as far as like the, the her job did it before anyone else really <clears throat> before the state even required it because they write contracts for hospitals as far as like um, they write the contracts for like if you guys ever get um, questionnaires um, about your stays or whatever that's what they do they write the contracts for the different hospitals so <clears throat> they put everybody her company that she works with they send everybody home a well a week before um, anything federal or state came down so I haven't normally though I go down and I stay um, Wednesday Wednesday night and Thursday night and I watch the boys on Wednesday and Fridays while they work and then I come home on Wednesday or Friday night so <clears throat> I'm very familiar I have my own room there and that sort of thing so um, I'll stay with the boys when she goes in to have the baby and you know like her and I were talking she's like I'm really nervous because here she's had two babies here we're very familiar with the hospital where she had the boys here um, I had <clears throat> Kristen there I, John was born there I was born there um, all of our other grandkids were born there it's a wonderful wonderful hospital and She's like, I'm so nervous because 
they weren't able to do the hospital tour. And like I said, it's a new hospital to, to them. And, you know, like Tony said, I just hope it's a good experience. Like it, like the other ones have been at Bronson. And I said, yeah, I totally get you. <laughs> and she's like, and now you can't come with me, meaning me. And, you know, like I'm her, I'm like her coach pretty much, you know, Tony is her husband that stands there with, you know, like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> Sorry, Tony, if you're listening, I can't help it, buddy. He just, he has no clue what to do. I have been in the delivery room with all of my grandchildren, like my daughters, Kristen's, Michaela's, um, John's oldest daughter, Amber, I was in with her first, with Cameron, our very first grandson. Um, I've been in with my sister-in-law, Heather, John's little sister, for two of her deliveries. I'm, you know, like, I've been in a lot of deliveries. So, um, I know how to make Michaela comfortable and I know, and I know how to <coughs> make her feel okay. You know, like when she had taxed in, he came so fast, like her water broke and it took us about an hour before we were able to get to the hospital. And by the time we got there, she was already at a seven cent, she was already at seven centimeters and there was no way she was getting an epidural. No. So she literally gave birth to him with nothing, <laughs> literally. And, you know, she was like, mom, I can't do this. And I'm like, honey, you don't have a choice because you have to. And um, I was like, you know, you can do this. You, you know, you, you're a Branham. And... You know, you're a Branham. Branham's can do this. <laughs> and she did. And it was not easy. It was not easy to see my child in that much pain. And Tony was just like sitting there. <laughs> he was just sitting there staring like, oh my God, what do I do? <laughs> and I finally looked at him and I said, when she was starting to push, I'm like, and she really didn't have to push that much because Pakistan was coming with her. <laughs> he made his own way. She pushed for literally three pushes and he was out. That's how fast he came. That, that kid was not playing around. But anyway, um, Tony was, he was just sitting there and I'm like, get over here. <laughs> I said, get over here. And he jumps up and he's like, what do I do? And I'm like, hold her hand. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny, but it wasn't funny. You know what I mean? It wasn't funny in the moment. But now looking back, it was funny. So I just, like I've even said, you know, like, if you want, you know, like if Tony doesn't want to, if he doesn't feel comfortable or whatever, if it starts happening too fast or whatever, I can be in there with you for delivery and then he can, because whoever goes in, if they leave, they can't get back in. I'm like, I can go in for delivery if you guys want me to. I mean, I've offered it. Um, and then once Leighton is here, Tony can come in with you and him. So, and he's like, she's like, no, Tony's just got to step up his game. And I'm like, okay. So, anyway, I'm going to be with the boys, and then I'll stay with them until they come home from the hospital. At Bronson, the hospital here, our local, one of our local hospitals, um, they typically stay two days. Um, 
but I don't know how it's going to be with the, you know, like everything has changed so much due to the COVID. So I don't know if, you know, and I don't know how it was before there. Um, if it was like a two day stay, like you have the baby, if say like you have the baby in the afternoon in Bronson, you stay that day plus another, you stay two nights. And so they let you go home after the second night, if that makes sense. <clears throat> you stay a full two days, regardless of when you have the baby. Um, unless it's a C-section, then you stay longer. It's four days for C-sections. Okay, so we got that down now. I've got my happy planner playing with me that is up, going up tonight. My Erin Condren, which is the one you're watching, is up on Tuesday, which you're watching that now. My Hobonichi goes up on Wednesdays. Let's use this one. And then I've got a haul, but I don't do that stuff on this channel. So let's use this one because I'm going to film it's Sunday. But I am going to put, I think I'm going to use these glitter headers here because they're square. I kind of want to stick with that. I might have to do one rounded. That's okay. That's okay. So, um, anyway. slider. <clears throat> okay, and I also need to do my INR, which I did this morning. That there. And then the rest I can fill in as we go. Now let's go over and build our sidebar. So anyway, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to build this up because I've never built it up and I always like kind of run out of room as we go. So, okay. And I've got these quarter boxes here. Okay, so I need this one. These habit trackers, headers, and then I need washi chunks. Or I mean, I can use these, but I almost am tempted to pull in these. I think I'm going to leave those and I'm just going to continue with the glitter headers. If they give me problems, I can deal. Okay. So let's start with our first habit tracker and I'm going to use this one. Okay. And then let's go and the only thing that makes me nervous about this is how straight I get it. Yeah. So. Let's do this one. 
So yeah, yesterday was just an amazing day with the kids and I'm so happy. I was, you guys just, I mean, those of you that know me and are familiar with my channel know how much my grandkids and my kids mean to me and this being away from them has been for the birds. I mean, for the absolute birds. <coughs> I, um, my oldest daughter, Kristen, has two kids, too. Um, John and I, if you're new, have five daughters. Three, the three older girls are his. Um, they have different moms. And then him and I have the youngest two, Kristen and Michaela. Um, however, I mean, I've been with John since these girls were... Wait a minute. I don't think I'm building this right. Yeah, I am. Header. Okay. So, all right. So now let's do the green. Um, between the five girls, we have, let's see, Amber has two boys, so that's four or two. Erica has two, plus she just had a little girl, so that's three, that's five. Prina, our dead smack middle daughter, Saprina, she has one, Adeline. And then Kristen, our youngest, or mine and John's oldest, second youngest, she has two, TJ and Bailey Joe. <coughs> and then we have Michaela, who is the baby of all five of the girls. And she has Nolan, Paxton, and her third little boy, Layton, will be here in May sometime. So that gives us, we have, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and Layton will be 11, I think. <laughs> Isn't that awful, you guys? We have a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot of them little suckers. Um, we have three girls out of all of the grandkids, though. So, it's a boy's bunch. Then I need this one. Okay, so we've got that full sheet done. And then let's use, okay, so we did the purple, this one. So let's use that one because I started this with this, so I don't want to put that one again. I want to make sure I cut this right. Yeah, I just think the blade on this, this is the last sheet it would have cut, I think, from the kit. I'm not sure how hers cut, but this would have been the last sheet cut, and I, 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 I think, I'm not sure, but it's probably just the blade was getting old. It would not one bit deter me from ever ordering from Maple Shop. I absolutely love her, 
it would not deter me in one bit from referring her shop to anyone. She is amazing. <coughs> and I absolutely love everything I get from her. Hands down. Love it. No questions asked. Okay. Let's jump in to our day by days. Okay. So, we have no holidays this week, other than a new day starts, or a new month, but we need, oh, and you know what, I'm going to put in some more foil, Ugh. I'm sorry if you guys see my shirt, I don't have any copper foil, you guys, but... I have rose gold, and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to pull in some rose gold where I can, when I can. We need, a, <coughs> excuse me, a coffee Monday. So we're going to use a butt first coffee, and I think I'm going to bring in this kind of peach, or maybe even that one. Let's use the orangey one, let's see. These are from Sticker Monster Co. I do PR for Sticker Monster Co. Yeah, I like that one. And you can find my discount code and link to her shop down below in my link tree in the description box. And I will have a link to um, Pink Polka Dot Lily. So if you guys want to check her out, you can. You will not regret it. Her, her stickers are absolutely gorgeous. And this is actually one of her rose gold foil coffee cups. I love this. Okay, and then I'm going to need a, I can't even, coffee from the Planners World. I do PR for Sue. You can find my link and discount code to the Planners World down below in my link tree as well. And then how about we use this little girl with her coffee cup from Megan Renee Plans, IPR for Megan as well. You can find the link and discount code to her shop down below. I'm gonna open this up so I'm not flip flopping back and forth like that. So my, my charm is from Merge Charms on Instagram. Love her, she does have an Etsy shop. She has amazing charms in her shop. You will love them all. Okay. Um, I need to do comments on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So I'm going to use this girl boss from Maggie and Renee Plans for Monday. And then let's use one of these little <clears throat> $2 Tuesday laptop and coffee from Creations by Jaro. Her shop is currently on vacation. She just had shoulder surgery a couple months ago. So she is recuperating from that. Let's use an Aspen laptop from Creative Cavern Studio. Her shop is closed. And then let's use this little laptop, the spoil laptop from the kit for Sunday. I love that. Look at how gorgeous that is. Ugh. I just can't. Her, I just can't with her stuff. <laughs> okay, so we need to do Happy Mail. We do have a P.O. box here where I live because we live literally within two minutes walking distance from the post office, so they won't deliver mail for us. But they give us a free P.O. box. Okay, let's use... Let's use this little pink one from Creations by Jaro. Let's put it for Friday. This is, again, from our $2 section. And then how about we use Avery Happy Mail from Creative Cavern Studios. And then do we have a, yep, we do. We have a Happy Mail from the kit. Saturday. I 
do you need to do spread picks on Monday, when Tuesday, Wednesday? So this will be before the pen and end of week in my happy planner on Instagram. And then let's use this gray one from Creative Cavern Studios for my Erin Condren end of last week and before the pen for today's. Let's use, how about we use this gray one from Creations by Jaro for my Hobonichi. I do have a haul going up on Thursday, so I am going to mark that. I'm going to use this little, kind of like a peachy orange. I think it goes well. Many of these are from Megan Renee Plans. These are her mini multicolor cameras in her shop. Now, I do have um, let's see, do I have, you know what, I do, and I'm going to use this planner from the kit for my, for this plan with me, the one you're watching. I'm just going to stick that right there. And then let's use, um, I need the pink one. These are from $2 Tuesday section and creations by Jaro. And then for my Hobonichi, I'm going to use, um, let's use this khaki one from Britannia Nicole. Her shop is no longer open either. Okay. Then I don't have to babysit. We do need to post for Washi Wednesday. The script is the Washi Wednesday script from Sticker Monster Co. I love their stick, their um, script. It is hand drawn, you guys. So now we do need to post for two dollar Tuesday for the Planners World. So we're going to use this two dollar Tuesday script, which is from the Planners World shop. Um, let's use a glam washi moxie and mo oh, you know what? No, 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 no. No, it we're going to use these, um, this washi stack, this foil, rose gold foil from So Cute Planner for Washi Wednesday. We're just going to put that right there. Love it. That's a freebie from, oh, I didn't want that in there. Um, my friend Cricut PRs for her. Speaking of Cricut, she also PRs for Pink Polka Dot Lily. And she used this kit this week. And I will post a link to her channel um, up above in an iCard for you as well. Because she used her kit different than I did. So I want you guys to check that out because it's awesome. Okay, so John does get his unemployment on Wednesday, so tomorrow. But I'm going to put it here because it's going to go in overnight. So I'm just going to put the dollar sign from the kit and then I'm going to put the script. I love her script. It's so delicate and it's kiss cut if I can get it out. Ugh. Maybe I won't. I don't want to rip it. Oh, I ripped it. Okay. Darn it. That's okay. That's okay. We'll just let it go. I don't know. <laughs> okay, then I know I need to post Freebie Fridays for the Planner's World. Um, she does any orders placed with her. You do get a free die cut, which is awesome. We need to take the trash out on um, Monday night. So tonight, I got to get John. I got to remind him. But it's picked up on Tuesday. And these are the $2 Tuesday trash bags from Creations by Jaro. Let's use this little foil trash can icon from the kit. 
because they do pick it up on Tuesdays. there and then um okay I did do laundry I did some Sunday so I'll probably do some on Thursday again and this is Adrian laundry from Creative Cavern Studios and then we'll probably put let me use this foil I laundry basket from the kit for Sunday I do laundry just whenever it gets filled up I mean, don't you? Um, I am going to them up on the floors on Thursday. These are Aspen Cleaning, again, from Creative Cavern Studios. Let's do... Let's use Aspen for Kitchen. I'll do the kitchen tomorrow. I'll do my kitchen deep clean on Tuesday. Okay, and that's Avery dishes from Creative Cavern Studios. Now, I did do my INR today, so I want to use, I think I'm going to use this khaki one, this glucometer from Sticker Monster Co. I do not have diabetes. I do check how fast or slow my blood coagulates because I take Coumadin and so I did do that today I called in and reported it to my cardiologist so we are, are good okay now I'm going to film and edit Sunday so we're going to use this film and edit script from Pink Polka Dot Lily so we're just going to put film, edit, and upload. And then I do have a haul that's going to be going up on Thursday. So I'm going to use this haul script from this sheet as well. We'll just put it right there and it's got let's see plan with me film edit upload haul plan with me plan with me film edit upload so it's these are smaller script here these are in its different font so love these <coughs> um okay jump over here so this is my cleaning list do i have Oh, I guess I don't. Um, that's okay. I'm going to use these um, social media foiled script for my Instagram. Oh, you know what? Darn it. No, I'm not. Because that's not what I use those for. <laughs> That was good. 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 I have um, my my um, fifth grade teacher when I was in elementary school. She talked. She was German. I'm just gonna put this clean script from Britannia Nicole because I do keep a running cleaning list always in my planner. But anyway, she spoke German, so she taught us German. So I'm going to do my bathroom. I remember some of it. Like, guten Tag. But that is hello. <laughs> um, I forget the rest. I didn't count to 10 in German. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Though. All of these scripts are from Britannia Nicole. Her shop is no longer open. But I love her script and I have a ton of it. Her vacuum. Kitchen. Laundry. That one's got 
garage and bedroom. And then my dishes. Okay, so this habit tracker is where I track my meds. So I'm going to use this prescription mini bottle from Megan Renee Plans. So we're just going to put that right there. And then this one is for social media. So I'm going to use this instant post, Insta post from the Planners World for right here. And then that is it, my friends. Let's put our clips on. And then we're done. I hope that you all enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos, make sure you hit that red subscribe that's down below. Don't forget to hit that little bell that will send you a notification every time I upload a new video and make sure you leave any comments, questions, or suggestions. Let me just do this down below in the comments section because I just love to hear from each and every one of you. And as always, from me to you, great big hugs, happy planning, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great week. Bye-bye.